It's very early. Well, it's not very early, but it's too early for me right now. One more. Cool it. Headed to a lawyer. Me and Sager gotta go meet with lawyers. I don't know if I can disclose why, but it's not fun either way. <sighs> so. I gotta get out of here. I gotta leave Omar here early. He's gonna be bummed because this is normally our playtime. But you're gonna have to hang out by yourself for a little bit. But then I'll be home for the rest of the day. Okay. Oh, okay. So, made it back from the lawyers. That wasn't as long as I thought it was gonna be, so that's good. Um, nothing I can discuss with you at this moment as far as just know there's shit going on. There's always shit going on. But I will eventually come out with the information that. Um, when it becomes pertinent or whatever, I have to just wait for some shit to get finished and then we'll talk about it. It's juicy though, you'll be interested to know. Um, I have to draw stuff for these next few drops that I have going down. I'm trying to do a city pack, so I gotta sit here today and draw quite a bit. The uh, drop tomorrow with the wave pack, which is black t-shirts, black wave shirts, white wave shirts, um, both in regular shirts and tank tops, and then also the aqua regular wave t-shirt and of course the beach towel t-shirts are 30 bucks and the towel is 80. 10 a.m mountain time so that's going to be noon in new york and 9 a.m in california so set your alarm so that's what's going on waiting on urn urn has got to come drop some stuff off and pick up his memory card that he left here and i'll probably just get some food today and hang out and chill with omar and i don't really know we'll see what happens we'll take a look we'll find out stay tuned <gasps> We were talking about catfish, and I was like, if there's a blazing hottie on, and Brandy's like, man, you're using that term blazing hottie a lot. Is there some blazing hottie you want to tell me about? I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm talking about catfish in the <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, huh, Omar? <laughs> I got a bunch of beef jerky that's coming in the mail. What? Today. It's the best beef jerky in the world. It's not even like beef jerky, I don't guess. It's like smoked meat. It's and it's bacon. There's bacon jerky. Where'd you find it? It's the best beef jerky place in the world. It's called J&J &J Meats in the middle of nowhere. It was on the Food TV Food Network like 12 years ago. Or so. I, like every so often I remember it and I'm just like, oh, I gotta order some of that shit. And it's, they got chicken jerky. I got, I got like five, I spent like 160 bucks on jerky. How long are you gonna stick around? And then, know. are we gonna get this Apple TV? Yeah, we're gonna go get that. How much are they? Um, 150. Oh yeah, at least you get one of those. those. Do I need it though? I mean, does the PlayStation do everything it does? I mean, kind of it does. I don't know, I just like the layout of the Apple TV and the Siri, it actually works. You can just talk to it. As Netflix and, uh, do you use iTunes movies and like buy the movies on yeah, iTunes? Yeah, I buy them when I'm on the road and stuff. All those uh, can makes just sense. be played through the Apple TV. Hmm. Literally talk to it and whatever you say, it'll bring it up. And if it's on Netflix and your iTunes, it'll ask you like, where do you want to watch this? And it's really selling the... And YouTube. I love them. YouTube going to Best Buy. Tight. I need a new TV for the other room too. Oh, shit. Is that what we're doing? I don't know. Look, he's barking at his fucking reflection right now. Who is it, Omar? Who's over there? Look. Omar, it's your reflection, you weirdo. Don't be growling and getting weird. <laughs> Omar, it's you. Upset with yourself, son. That's just your reflection. You're silly. Um, so, yeah, I hear, I heard a rumor you could be here for a week and make music and pay for your ticket. 
then you would be willing to come do that. Of course, dog. So why don't you just tell me the dates, <laughs> then we can book this ticket yeah, right now. Yeah, don't get a chance, which is going to be over the next day or so. I'm going to sit down with her and have a talk about it. We'll have to figure it out. All right, yeah, what well, the, time is. yeah, just let me know, and then we'll book the tickets. Bring some equipment. I have most everything, just not like guitars and shit like that. But yeah, yeah, I'll bring some shit. I mean, maybe yeah. I'll just, maybe I, I might send some shit out there or something. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, whatever works. But yeah, we'll all three just work that whole week. Yeah. That would be amazing. Yeah, that'd be dope. Yeah. Mer mercy of the light, yeah. mercy of the light reunion. Yeah. <laughs> Before we go to Best Buy, we're going to get them salads. Yeah. Then we're going to Best Buy. Maybe we'll get a dash cam. Ooh. Not only was there the regular reverse thing, but when they were parallel parking, somehow above them, I don't know. So it, there's a straight aerial view of the whole car. My God. Somebody told me it was linked into like the cameras in all the lights wherever they're parking. I don't believe it. Top view of the car. A top view, dude. It looks like somebody literally flies a drone over the car and you can watch yourself go back. You can see like the two cars behind you. Either some stick must come up out of the roof. It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I don't know. I'm serious. <laughs> Stick us out. But the other thing would be that the lights, like there, I guess there's cameras what everywhere, lights? like street lights and uh -huh. stuff, like those lights. If you were parking underneath them or something, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> street lights. In what if you're you parking on a, in an alley? Well, maybe then you don't get that camera option. Okay. You don't get that. Where, where, how else would it be possible? I don't know. It's almost like you could. There's a crazy Search thing. for the answer somewhere. If only there was some sort of <laughs> Google. I don't know what you'd call that word. I'm gonna Google yeah, it later. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. Ooh, I like the stick coming out of the roof theory the best, honestly. Yeah. I call a mechanic. Uh, what's the problem? Uh, <laughs> I'm stuck in stick out of roof mode. I hit the inspector gadget button and ever, <laughs> ever, ever since. I only see the top of my car. Unless I go in an alley. If I go in an alley, I don't get the camera option. These street signs. If we only had the dash cam. And sure. these things look like they're fucking pasted together crooked or something. Like, they, like they're supposed to make a picture, but they don't. They make these half-assed <laughs> patterns. They look like that. Like now they look a little bit correct. They mix and mashed. When they were putting them up, they're like, no, you picked up crate 15 instead of crate 14. We're in the wrong spot. They're like, I'm not carrying it down. <laughs> yeah, and they don't match up at all. It's crazy. It's probably some Illuminati shit. Yep, we are in Colorado. They hit one button on one of those and all the mountains line up and then a fucking rocket comes out of the ground. <laughs> That's just it. Donald Trump's on top of the rocket fucking burning a, a gay flag. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous world we live in. That's the end, guys. You know, that's that's the end. I'm, I'm sorry. Many people tell me that they're ready for the end of the world. Yeah. <laughs> well, now the Rock's are talking about running for president. I know. It's, oh, a, and it's serious, too. <laughs> Can you imagine the Rock versus Trump and Kanye? Like, I guess it would be the Rock and Kanye and the Democratic Party fighting yeah. it out. Kanye just drops an album in the middle of it. Available. <laughs> <laughs> My presidency is available exclusively on title. <laughs> have the emergency warnings that come on like in your phone and shit but you only get them through title. Yeah. <laughs> so 911 now available only through title. <laughs> yes, <that is. laughs> oh, there's a fire Colin I'm like there's a fire the title's like I'm sorry you need to call Apple Music. Yeah. Go. Well, never mind. Don't look over here like you're gonna do anything about it. <laughs> look out of here. I can't stand that shit. I can't stand people drive by and look at you as if as if their fucking glance is gonna affect my day. Fix your damn eyeballs fool. Everybody's mad. He's yeah, we're all mad. moving hunks of metal around the fucking goddamn round sphere. He's mad. He's mm. A4. He's but when he bought an Audi, wasn't he supposed to? The advertisement said he'd be happy all the time. A clinic. When I'm fucking upset. A clinic. You get AIDS tested and recreational. I think that's just a weed it's, clinic. Yeah. It'd be great if it was both, though. Yeah, you get you high, so when they tell you you got some <laughs> shit, <laughs> you get all. Someone doesn't smoke, they smoke some sativa, go in there all paranoid, like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna test to see if you have AIDS. You know, you'll be the tenth one today. Let's see if we can go ten for ten. <laughs> Everybody else in the lobby's like, oh. so you look at your phone. It's April first. You don't know what's going on. You're like, oh god, why did I come here? Time I got tested, they put me in room thirteen, or they gave me ticket oh. number thirteen. I was like, oh fuck. Test came back negative, by the way. Your <laughs> results. Um, 
Here, have this joint. <laughs> yeah. Take a seat. Yeah. Relax. <laughs> Do you guys give this to everybody? Uh, <laughs> just you know, light it up and let's talk. Let's finish the blunt. I'll give you your results. <laughs> Shit, that would be the most paranoid blunt ever for me. <laughs> he smoked it off fast. <laughs> <laughs> Tubular problem. Damn, tubular vibes. You've been spotting all the shoes lately. Yep. We should go on a shoe hunt one day. <laughs> we should do a vlog like Ernie's shoe hunt and I'll make a graphic where you pop up and there's eggs. <laughs> all right, Best Buy. And, but if you hold the mic button, you can talk and ask. Siri. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Hey Siri, play never back down. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. We can ship them to your house. No, that's all good. We'll figure it out. This is big. This? Yeah, they do a good job with that thing. Oh, well, here it is. $8,999. Damn, dog. We've just done an undercover sting at Best Buy. And what we found was alarming. <laughs> On Nine News, we'll show you how Best Buy is ripping you off. Let's go. I do. Hold on. It probably looks better than the dash cam. <laughs> yeah, because it's all 4K. 4K. Yeah. Didn't have any Apple TVs, so. And all the TV TVs are like. <laughs> TVs are expensive, basically. So I don't really feel like I need another one right now. I we'll have to wait till I really want another one. No, and they're not expensive. I feel like Christmas, they always come right. out with these amazing deals. Amazing deals. Christmas. Black Friday. Yeah. Black not Friday. Black Friday like crazy like Maybe that. I'll just wait for Black Friday. And then we'll just go out and, like any real American, <laughs> we'll go out and beat the shit out of somebody <laughs> for, to save $648. Yeah. For real more. And I got a new leash. Ooh. Take Hottie. this blazing hottie to be your lawfully wedded blaze. Don't kill this lady. Whew, she was giving you the looks, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you really should have got that dash <laughs> cam. Dash cam. I'm gonna order a small one. Sounds like <laughs> we're just making it up. Oh, yeah. look at that elephant! Yeah. Gosh. There's Yeezys. It's like clickbait from your other yeah. YouTubers. Like, we just saw, <laughs> we just saw one on one Yeezy in the middle of the street. Oh, it's crazy man! It was crazy. We saw it. The one of one. Click, click, like, like, subscribe. Oh. Please, please. Please. <laughs> I'm getting 50,000 subscribers. I'm giving away a kidney. <laughs> My donation list now. Find out if you're a match. <laughs> win. <I can't laughs> if you want to win a second chance at life, make sure you subscribe to Oh It's Teddy TV. <laughs> I've only got two kidneys, so I'm only giving away one. I think you have to. We have to be there. You don't just ship it to. Them. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can do it shipping. <laughs> I think it's an in-person. I think it's an in-person meetup. Yeah. Yeah, local local pickup only. On it. Yeah, I got Alpha Brain. And... Have you ever taken that before? Okay, perfect. Thank you. Have you ever taken that before? Yeah, I took it for a few months. That and MCT oil. Nice. Try and get on this crazy health kick, dog. Yeah. The crazy health kick. Like full blown. Have everybody just be like, what? Six pack, God. Yeah, I don't really care about that so much. No, I don't either. More like just like energy guys. Going down. <laughs> Don't push it off the edge. Uh -oh, I gotta turn this off. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow morning for the drop. Yeah, Doc. Okay, so. Today's been a little frustrating. Um, I mentioned earlier, there's just a lot of stuff going on. But, um, yeah, just got a lot of stuff to get ready for, a lot of stuff to kind of work out. So, cause I have to get ready for tomorrow's drop with Ernie. I would not miss it, uh, and that's all I can really say. What did come in, which also is a little frustrating today, and I don't know if I can give you the on feet for them, because the Y3 black and white came in, but they sent me the wrong size. So this came from my man. I hit him up 
to check with them to make see if they have my actual size. I tried to put the 12s on and I can put them on. So I may be able to show you an on feet with them. It depends on what he says because I don't want to like wear them and then have them essentially be used and then send them back. So I'll ask him and if he says it's cool, then cool. If not, I got to just send them back and we're just going to take a look at them. So, but I can review them for you nonetheless. Uh, and we've reviewed a couple of these pairs before. So, black and white, Yeezy Pure Boost. Or Yeezy. I just said Yeezy Pure Boost. Y3 Pure Boost. This is what the shoe looks like. So we reviewed the other colorways that came out in this shoe uh, recently. There's an all white, triple white colorway, and there's also the black and purple colorway. This is what I would call, you know, the black and white colorway. Some would call it an Oreo. Some might call it a zebra. Some might call it salt and pepper. I don't really care what you call it, but it's black and white. All white upper with black peppered in um, and it's kind of just stitched all across the front of the stitching is pretty interesting on this one it's, you can really see the contrast pretty well toe box is a lot like a 1.0 pattern from an ultra boost which is appealing to me it's got the atr stripping on the front of the toe area which i actually like there's even atr stripping around the laces black y3 laces yoji yamamoto branding y3 on the tongue this is a leather tongue they all of the all of the Y3 Pure Boost have pretty nice leather tongues and nice little leather hits kind of all throughout. The inner heel is also leather. No insole on in the shoe. And then the main thing is the knitting. So it's not PK and this is like, you can even see, this is kind of stiff. This whole little toe area has a reinforcement behind it. It just kind of makes it stiff. It's just got like a little, you know, a little like fold in there. So it's not nearly as comfortable as PK. I won't even lie to you. Definitely not. Um, but it does look nice. It just doesn't feel the same. Definitely not as stretchy and Certainly not as um, just, you know, movable when you're wearing the shoe. It's just not the same comfort, and that's just, that's just all there is to it. PK is still king to me, no matter what. Uh, and it has a pure boost bottom, and then, of course, the ski slope of boost that is present on the pure boost. It's almost like it's pure boost. But, um, yeah, and then let's take a look. Let's compare the other. This is what most people would compare the shoe to. They are very similar in their stylings. This is the Y3 ZG, and this is the new Y3. So Y3 ZG is all PK, and you can, like, really, really tell. You know, it's just a different thing. This is just made to kind of look like it and is very stiff and not movable. So the shoe itself is okay. Um, I like the Y3, I like the way they look. Honestly, if they don't have my size in this shoe, I'm probably just gonna send them back and pass, like officially just pass on them. If they have them, I'll take them. I like them enough, they'll get a couple of wears. But um, like I said the other night, after I did the collection, or, or during the collection, I'm probably gonna sell some shoes. And for really no reason other than there's just too many, and there's still so many coming out. And honestly, some of the shit that I'm just never gonna wear it. So, uh, I might go through my inventory and get rid of some stuff. I'll let you guys no. But yeah, this is the Y3 Pure Boost. That's not it. This is it. And the black and white colorway. And if. And as far as sizing goes on the shoe, so uh, from your Ultra Boost sizing, you can certainly go half a size down. So you can get my foot into the 12 and wear it. Like I can, it fits my foot, but it's not, it's not the size I would prefer. I don't want to wear a full size down in this shoe. If it was the PK version, it'd be no problem. This version, I cannot really like comfortably wear a 12 all day. You can't go down from your Ultra Boost sizing in the Y3 Pure Boost. You can definitely, you know, if you're like a 13, wear a 12 and a half, and that's actually the largest size it comes in. And then Y3 uh, comes with dust bags. You have your Y3 dust bag, always an extra set of laces. These are black laces. Two, I think, honestly, might even look better with white laces, to be completely honest. If this doesn't queue up right now to an on feet section, then you, you know why.
every, almost every time I drop anything, it costs more than $30. People who comment on every single thing, telling me that I'm overpriced, telling me that I'm this, telling me that I'm that. My, and the other question I get all the time is how do you start a brand? And these two things go hand in hand. What really, really fucking annoys me is that people don't understand the cost of doing business. If you want to make a full color, humongous beach towel with however many colors are in that thing, with however many colors are in here, I have no idea. A towel that you can't get anywhere else in the world. Yeah, just um, there's this crazy notion, like if you don't like something, just don't fucking buy it. And then there's this other notion called shutting the fuck up. Cause it's just really annoying. Like, and it's not just my videos. Like what I notice is if I watch any of my peers videos, it's the same people commenting and I know you're trolling and I know it's like hate or whatever. And then most people will say I'm not supposed to respond to it but I do respond to it sometimes because you're fucking annoying. That's really just it. Like you're not gonna convince anybody with your ridiculous thought processes or your stupid way of looking at the world or your inability to fucking understand how anything in the world works. It doesn't matter. Like just shut the fuck up. Like it's really, like never miss an opportunity to shut the fuck up. It's not gonna do you any good to leave the comment. It's not gonna fucking help your situation. So really, you're just mad for whatever fucking reason, it's got nothing to do with me, it's got nothing to do with the towel, it's got nothing to do with anything other than your own fucking insecurity, your lack of follow through in life, and you sitting here watching a vlog that you don't even apparently like just so you can comment stupid shit. You're seeping negativity and that's why you're getting negative. I'm not mad about it, I don't really care. I just feel like addressing it sometimes because I'm human and sometimes people just keep buzzing bullshit in my ear and I respond. So here's your fucking response. Shut the fuck up, nobody cares. Go fuck yourself.